What's the deal, baby? Y'all didn't know it is that big boss out, boss dog, cake poke through the dough, hit a talk. This boxing, what's good with y'all? Raider Nation all day, every day, man. My team ain't in the playoffs, but it's all good news. We still ripping, we still shining, we still hogging. And then uh, shout out to the 49ers, man. They took care of business. My fault, D time boxing, still D time, Ace time, it's all love, but. Man, them cowboys had to go, man. I got tired of hearing my neighbor talking about, we them boys. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We making noise. It's, it's been quiet. It's been real quiet. So shout out to the 49ers, man. Real deal spill. But let's talk boxing. Luda Bella rips. Rips. Terrence Crawford, let's talk about it. So Terrence Crawford tweets, you know, I think he says something like, and it's not verbatim. I think he said like which is worse um going to the playoffs and losing or, uh, or not going to the playoffs and losing or something like that he, he alluded to something like that right so Luda Bella responds with his answer he answered Terrence Crawford Christian but he also then says that you know which also is worse is you know you not making the biggest fight in boxing I told you, man. Boys not blind, man. Like, <clears throat> the only ones that are blind is these bud buddies. Y'all niggas is delusional and blind, man. Y'all don't understand English. Y'all don't y'all can't see. Y'all got callus over your eyes, man. You need to seek prayer so you can see. You know what I mean? Stevie Wonder can see that this nigga Bud Crawford ducked some smoke. That's just what it is. A nigga had the contract. He ran from it, right? Then y'all try to sit down and say, oh, well, Errol, he been trying to fight Errol. When? Oh, well, because he been verbally calling him out. So if I verbally say, man, I want to fight you. I want to fight you. I want to fight you, right? I want to fight, man. I want to fight you, bro. But I don't never do anything to send a contract or any type of thing. You understand, at one point, Errol had one bill. Terrence Crawford had one bill, right? Terrence Crawford says he's done more in his career than L. Spence, right? So at that time, when L. Spence got his belt, right, they was on an even playing field as far as with belts, right? So Terrence Crawford could have sent a contract to L. Spence. Did he do it? No, okay? A contract never was sent. Why wasn't a contract sent? Because Terrence Crawford didn't want to fight, okay? Bob Arum didn't want to do that fight for him. Y'all remember in that video when they was behind stage together, Bob Arum said, hey man, I'm gonna call Al Heyman. Al Heyman was never contacted by Bob Arum and Top Rank. Why is that? Because Bob Arum don't want to do business with no black man, bro. And he don't believe in blood like that. He's come out and said that. Bob Aaron has also said that Terrence Crawford never asked him for them fights. So, man, y'all could play stupid all y'all want to. We here to keep it a book. I understand that, you know, a lot of y'all, y'all diehard Terrence Crawford fans. I'm a fan of boxing. I'm a fan of Terrence Crawford. I'm a fan of L. Spence. I'm a fan of Canelo. I'm a fan of uh, Inui. I'm a fan of Tyson Fury. I'm a fan of Wilder. I'm a fan of boxing in its entirety. But we're going to call it a spade a spade. And the reason why we're on Terrence Crawford here is because, man, really because of y'all, the delusion that y'all present. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous the fact that, you know, boxing can paint a narrative and people run with it. L. Spence never ducked no smoke. He ain't never ran from none. I thought Terrence Crawford was the same way until this fight, until this fight came down with Errol. And this nigga avoided the smoke. And this another thing. The nigga was doing all this talking, saying he'll fight Errol, he'll knock him out cold, and this, that, and the third. If he really wanted that smoke with Errol Spence, why didn't he sign the contract? I'm going to leave that. Let's go.